Some senators have taken a different tack, arguing that Iraq is still winnable, that by withdrawing troops, we will actually maximize the chances of success. They concede that a withdrawal will encourage insurgents and terrorists to unleash greater violence on the Iraqi people, but believe that such violence might induce Iraqi politicians to make the political decisions necessary to end it. Can this possibly be true? Can we, by withdrawing our troops from Iraq, actually increase the stability in Iraq rather than risk catastrophe and induce a political solution rather than make it less possible? Is success in Iraq as simple as issuing redeployment orders? A move blocked only by stubborn commanders and civilian authorities? General David Petraeus, for one, believes that it is not. Of course the dire situation in Iraq demands a political solution. That is undeniably true. But a political solution among the Iraqis cannot be simply conjured.